How to create mockups in Canva step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can create different types of mockups like these, this, or even these on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people are using Canva for their designs, but did you know that you can take a design like this and convert it into your mockups as well on Canva? And I'll show you guys exactly how to do so. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, to create a mockup on Canva, first we need to decide what we need to create a mockup of. Mockups can be of really different types. We might want to create a mockup for something like a frame something like a mug design we might want a mock-up for things like a customized gift design such as this custom photo on wood we might want a, a mock-up of a frame so i'm going to be showing you guys two primary types of mock-ups you can create firstly these types of room-based mock-ups and secondly these types of product-based mock-ups so I'll show you guys exactly how to do that and let's jump right in. Now for this, the first step that we are going to do is we are going to choose our design. Now let's say I created this t-shirt design on Canva and I want to use this in a mock-up for my tote bag and a t-shirt. So to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is click on share and I will just click on download, download this as a PNG and that is it. Now, once this download is completed, it's time to create my mockup. For that, I will simply search for mockup in the template section on Canva. Once you do that, you will see a few different types of mockups. You will see that a t-shirt mockup is really popular. And you can see that we also have this simple uh, tote bag mockup as well. So you guys can see you have a few different options. I will first create our tote bag mockup. So I'll search for tote mockup. And it will show me all the different types of mockups available for a tote bag. Now, I want to use something that's going to be easy to edit. So I think I will go with this one over here, I think. That looks pretty good. Or I think something with a bit simple of a texture. Like this one. Yeah, I think this looks pretty okay. And then I will just click on customize this template. Now, once I click on customize this template, you will see that we have our template loaded. This is the design. I'll just click on delete. And now we basically just have an image. Now, in this image, this is our tote bag. And here is where we can print out our design. However, our design has a vital flaw. It has a black background. So how can we remove the black background? Well, to do that in Canva, you don't need to go to any third party tool. Simply upload your image over here. So I'm just uploading this. And once we have uploaded our image, we can go into apps on the left and you can just search for background remover like this. And you will have this app called background eraser. Click on choose file over here and choose your designated file and click on remove background. Now Canva will remove the background from your image or from your design. However, keep in mind that with my design, I have a white text and white stars. It would be um, smarter to actually invert the colors first, which means that I should go ahead and change the star color to black as well as the text color to black and change my background to white to make it easier for my design to be pasted upon. Because you guys can see, even though we have removed the background because there are stars in this design, Canva has opted to keep the stars. So still our design looks pretty good. But if I want it to be in inverted colors, then just go ahead and change your design colors and then click on download. And once this has been downloaded, I can upload this file over here. And we're just going to wait for this to be uploaded like this we're gonna go ahead and upload it over here and remove the background and just like that our background eraser has removed the background from this illustration so you can really build uh, different types of mock-ups like this now this is a design-based mock-up what happens if you are looking to not focus on the product but instead the environment so you have a product and i'll 
show you guys an example of this. Let's say that we have this skincare brand over here. And you guys can see they have a bunch of different products, but I want to create a different type of mock-up for this. So for that, I can take the product image over here and click on save image as. Save your product image and now go ahead and open up a blank canvas. Now for this, I can click on inches and I'll go for a 10 by 10 inch because I want this to be in the form of a Instagram post. Then do the same process where you're going to go into apps and you're going to go ahead and go into the background remover or eraser and choose your file. And we're just going to do a direct file import. Now, once we actually do our file import, a really um, interesting thing that you can do with this is that you can Go ahead and go into apps on the left and for your mockups you can use ai as well so for that search for magic media on canva and then go into magic media now over here what you're going to do is you can ask it to create a environment for you and if you click on your image and then click on edit image you will see that you have your background remover so you can just directly click on that from here as well which will remove the background from the uh, product image that you have. Now from here, what you can do is you can click on magic expand. Now you can choose a free form. So I will choose, this is the size of the expansion that I want in my design over here. And I want this to be free form. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on magic expand. And what this will do is that this will take uh, a reference of what is present around the image and this will expand it accordingly. You can go into Canva elements and add a couple of elements to expand the image. Obviously this didn't have a background. So it's it has taken a black um, background as a easy way to uh, fill out. But if I show you guys an alternative example, where I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to search for a product mock-up and then just go into photos and you will see a lot of different product mock-up photos and choose the photo which would look the best for your products. Now, this is a bathroom and I think it's going to look pretty good for our product. So I'm just going to place it at the center, then do a right click and click on show layers. Place your product on top and I'm also going to Drop this out a little. I think I'm going to just drop out the extra frame in this, like this. Then I will resize the image over here. Now, once done, I can select my entire image, click on image, and we can choose to blend. And now this will blend my two images together and make them look more seamless. Now, if you want to create a frame based mock up like this one or this one, as we have seen for that simply go into canva and search for frame mock-up and these are super popular on canva because of printable designs and you will see a bunch of different product settings where products or different types of frames have been set up in a environment so simply pick out the one that looks the best for the design that you have created click on customize this template and once you click on customize this template, delete the frame images. Then over here, paste the designs that you are going to be selling. So let's say I'm selling this, I'm just a girl design like this. And then simply click on share and click on download to download your mockups from Canva. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.